it's Renee. Welcome to my channel. Uh, it's been about a month since I've posted anything and this isn't actually anything like mental health related. It was just like a long string of events that just really probably were just excuses and I could have found a way but at the time they were impacting my life and so I really I just couldn't really find just like a good uh, cat hair. Last month's just been a little bit of a bitch just just to summarize it first like two weeks couldn't film mom was super sick I ended up having to take care of her because we didn't actually know what was wrong she had to go get like blood work done and like just they had to go to doctors all that and she kind of like basically just needed someone to take care of her and my schedule is super flexible so like I was able to do that because she couldn't like walk around by herself without like falling over because she couldn't like support herself it was like a really weird like scary thing but she's good it's fine now figured it out got her on some anti-nausea stuff we're good we're fine and then my niece comes home and because she lives with me uh, you know how children are a um like an incubator for disease well she got strep and then guess who else got strep me i got strep so i strep for like a week because i thought i just had a cold and then that cold ended up just being strep. <laughs> so that was really just, it was a lot. It was just, it was a lot. And then really just in the last, the other, like just another week of just me just working because we've been really busy at work. And I just, I just felt like any downtime I had was dedicated to either doing homework because I did just finish up a semester. And yeah, it was just, it was just a lot. It's been a month. I'm sorry. For right now, if you care, um, if you care about my life at all, I am really sorry for not posting. I'm gonna try and get as much content posted as I possibly can, just to make it up to you guys, because I really kind of dropped the ball and fucked up on this one. I'm just mad that like, I had real bad mental health problems, posted some things, and then just fucking stopped. <laughs> and that's really annoying, but we're gonna rectify that. I have some, I have so many hauls because even in the, all of this time, I was still ordering things being like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to film this. I'm going to film that. And then all the packages just started coming and there's no videos for them. So we're going to make some right now. But for this first video that I'm going to be posting probably first, because it has the explanation at the beginning, it is a Torrid and Target haul. But this Target haul is especially, I bought one of these sweaters for a dollar and 34 cents. If you would like to see this haul, uh, stay tuned and we'll get into it. Okay, so first I'm actually gonna start with the Torrid items just because there's only two of them. I recently went, they were having buy one get one free on their clearance and they had actually some very cute things. I tried something new that I've never tried before. I got some of their like exercise legging type pants. This is just part of like their active wear. I got these in a size four and they're just these cool like black and rose, I almost said rose gold, but it's like these black and rose like active pants with the lattice on the bottom and a little bit of mesh. They're really comfortable and they're really great and I actually will, I haven't tried working out in them only because I feel like they're slightly kind of big and because of this I don't know actually how supportive they'll be. Um, definitely something that I want to do in the future. I want to place an order with Fabletics because the biggest size they go out to is a 3X and I want to see how that actually compares with plus size brands that make plus size activewear because I do think that these have potential. I don't know if maybe they are just too big of a size because I like towards sports bras. I think that their sports bras fit me really well, but I got a four. And the weird thing is, is that I like, they're really long on me. They're not super fitted in the legs, but they are more fitted up top. And then the weird thing is, is that it is lined with white. So you would kind of have to get your size no matter what, because if you stretch them out, then you would see some of the white underneath. It's not that bad for being white lined, but definitely if you have any form of like stretch on the black, you can definitely see it a little. But I do think that they're pretty nice. I think that they are cute. They're comfortable. I wear them to Target a lot because I go to Target a lot. But yeah, these actually were on sale for $33, which is kind of high. But for exercise pants, if I, I need to work out in them and see. I really need to get back up on my yoga and like kettlebell stuff because your girl has been slacking and it's been treat season so you know. Also if you're wondering why I'm wearing this jacket and not like a cute top or something it's because I'm fucking freezing. <laughs> I'm wearing this like varsity kind of looking jacket. It's actually from the men's section at Target. I bought it like years ago. I'm also a hundred percent 
wearing Aristocat like slipper like slippers that I bought from Walmart because Walmart's been like pretty decent lately. The other item that I got, so originally since it was buy one get one free, this was originally listed for, this was originally priced for I believe $40. Yes, it still has the tag in it. But yeah, it was originally priced for $40.98, but then when she rang it up, it actually rang up for $25. So I got both of these items for around, I think it was $37, because I always round up my change to the Torrid Foundation because it goes to support um, domestic abuse survivors. You know, I do that for everywhere for Hot Topic. Box Lunch does it because they're all like the same company. I love this. It's this gorgeous, glitzy, just beautiful pencil skirt. And I tried it on in store. And I was like, this is everything that I've been wanting. I've been looking for a skirt exactly like this and Torrid fucking delivered. Like, I just think it's so cute. It fits me really well. It's a good length for my short body. And I've always been very nervous about wearing pencil skirts. I've mentioned this in videos before because I've always still, no matter how confident I am, I still have like reservations about my body. My mom is vacuuming right now. I can hear her. But I've always had kind of reservations about my body because I am I haven't always been an apple shape, if that makes sense. Like I've been like a slight one, but when I was in high school and I was more athletic and I was working out a lot more, I had more of a, not pear shape, but like my waist has generally always been like fairly small. Like it's not super small, but like how my body is shaped, it does kind of go in that like eh. It's more so, it's just that I have like a low, I have like lower belly fat. Whereas like some apple shapes kind of have more like rounder belly fat. But because my belly fat hangs low, I've always been like super conscious and self-conscious about it. And so I've always kind of strayed away from tight stuff like that. Like especially like tight skirts, like jeans are fine because I feel like it's not as dramatic or it's not as noticeable. But like skirts, you can see it. Or like leggings like these, you can see it. So I've been really trying to find more things like this. What I really appreciate, because I wanna kind of branch out of my comfort zone, I wanna wear the things that I think are super cute. And I kinda bought this because I want to kind of like be the most stressed at my family Christmas party because I wanna stunt on my family members because I can't stand most of them. But I also too, my great aunt is coming for Christmas and she told my mom that she thinks that America is a communist country. And I don't know what to do with that information because I don't think she actually knows what communism is and that's really concerning and we're German and she thinks that Germany is like amazing and I'm like Germany believed in fascism at one point. Whatever, not the point. She's coming for Christmas and I'm not excited about it. But yeah, this feels super thick and the sequins actually feel really nice and what is nice is that I kind of pull it up to my waist because I do like to kind of define my waist to give me more of an hourglass shape. What's nice is that they aren't like itchy like when my hands touch them and when they like rub up against them I'm not getting like those sequiny like razor burn kind of a feeling the waistband is really thick so it'll stay up on you all night I'll try to post everything in links it's just that I buy a lot of sale items if you're new so it's hard for me to always find everything but I'll do my best to find comparable ones okay so for the first item I actually found this it's a lot of the wild fable stuff has been going on clearance and so this is the first item that I found it's this like square neck long sleeve rib black shirt and it has little buttons going in the front and they're actually like legit snaps like I didn't I didn't realize that when I bought it I just really like it because it's not too see-through so like I can wear like a black bra and be fine and you won't see underneath it it's long so it's good for layering but it's also cropped and so it can still give you that cropped like winter look which I'm actually super into like wearing long sleeved crop tops is like a look that I'm embracing right now but yeah I really like this the only issue I do have is that the sleeves are a bit long for me I got this in a 4x but the most incredible part about this shirt is they had a ton of them in a 4x there I kind of wanted to buy more but I figured I only needed one it was originally $16 I kept the tag because I've already worn this and it was on sale for $4.80 and I was like, holy shit, gotta buy. That's so affordable and cheap. Like, how? I mean, it kind of sucks because Wild Fable makes really cute stuff. Like, there's this hot pink, neon pink, furry jacket that I want from there. And I'm pissed because I missed the 30% off sale the other day. And I think it's like $35 or $38. And it would have been 30% off of that. And I would have, honestly, I wanted to buy it. I wanted to buy it so bad. Because 
it's like not available like online I don't think anymore but at my store they have like one 4x left and it fits me perfectly I might ask my sister to buy it for me for Christmas or my brother or my mom I don't know someone but yeah this is really great it's super comfortable it's crazy soft like all the other wild fable stuff very 90s because of the like boat square looking neck and yeah I just like that the buttons actually snap and it's just really cute and so soft it's kind of almost like a pajama shirt but when you can wear out like underneath this like a jean jacket another thing from the wild fable collection that I got I remember seeing this I think I saw because I watch ladylike videos still I'm not a huge fan of their content as much as I used to be but I think they're still fun like I like it when Kristen and Jen do stuff they're like my faves and Devin too and Freddie really I'm just not a huge Chantel person but she's cool like she's fine when they're together it's fine but yeah I saw Kristen wearing this dress because she's like the plus size person in there and it's just this really bright like fiery red I th that's either navy or it's black I think it's black Hor a horizontal like like loose like swing dress and it actually is ribbed as well and then the neck is like this kind of high neck lettuce hem it is a little see-through not bad to where you couldn't just wear like some nude shorts honestly you could probably wear black shorts underneath this and it wouldn't be that big of a deal but I just thought this would be a really cute like kind of holiday Christmas look like you could I think it'd be really cute with like some converse or like some vans and then just go stand in front of a Christmas tree with like a big like long sweater or something I don't know I just think it'd be really cute and I want to dress it up a bunch but yeah I also like that the sleeves are lettuce hem and these are my favorite kind of dresses because I think they just flatter my body like really really well and I just like how they lay they're so soft it's like walking around in a nightgown and as I age to my ripe age ew I hated that to my um, young age of 23 because I'm so old I just like wearing things that just remind me of sleeping because I love sleeping I love taking naps naps are what make me truly happy in this world this cold cold dark world um yeah no I really just I love this dress again it's so soft this I got for another crazy price because they like I said they've been putting a lot of their wild fable stuff on clearance and so they just have a ton of things but this was originally in a 4x or this was originally this is a 4x it was originally $20 I got it for $6 you can see because I left the tag on it. That's my biggest issue is I buy things and then if I have plans for them, I'm like, ooh, we'll just leave the tag on and keep it fresh and pop the tag when I'm ready to wear it like a weirdo. But yeah, I really love this a lot. If it's still available at your store or it's online, I'll definitely link it if I can just because everyone needs a really just soft dress in their life. Now we're gonna get into the like most important thing. The tag actually didn't have a sale price and I lost my receipt for it, but I will post a screenshot from the Target app because the reason that I have that is I found this because the sweaters were on sale and I was like, oh, well this is a $26.99 skirt and then the $19.99, the $24.99 and the $29.99 sweaters were all on sale at Target. This didn't fall into any of those but was on that rack. So I went to go scan it and then at the scanner I scanned it and it said, item not found. And I was like, okay and then this one specifically this olive color scanned it and it showed up as a dollar and 34 cents on targets website well, on their app and in the little thing it even said that it was 95 percent off and i was like this cannot be real and so then i went around the store and i scanned it at several other scanners just to see if one of them was broken and they all couldn't find this item and i also bought it's black counterpart which rang up for eight dollars and I think nine cents this one I just wore the other night when I went with my sister to go to the store they're so warm and comfortable but yeah I go up to the register because I wanted to find out and when he went to go scan it I was like I checked this out on my cartwheel app or my target app it rang up for like the super cheap price I don't know if it's gonna ring up on your register if not I can scan it for you and he's like okay he rang it up and he's like yeah it says that the item does not exist I was like okay and then I showed him I was like this is it like I scanned the tag for him because you can scan items on your target app and it rang up for a dollar and 34 cents and he's like well that's a really good deal enters in the price does the 809 price for this one because this one also didn't ring up either and I walked out paying about $10 for two really warm thick 
AF sweaters, which I think is pretty incredible. This one's this gorgeous like olive color, which is one of my favorite colors actually. But I don't really know what type of fabric this is. It's kind of, it's hard to describe. Like I actually don't, I genuinely can't place like what type of fabric this is. I know that I won't be able to wash this honestly, like traditionally, just because of the type of fabric. It's definitely like a more snaggy type fabric because it's not like that knitted or yarn kind of a feeling, but it's really, really long on me. If you can find this sweater anywhere and you're like five, nine it'll honestly be like a great sweater for you because it's a full on it's more of like a legging sweater on me where it fully covers my butt but then what I did with the black one the other night I tucked the front into my jeans and that made it like a little bit less long but yeah I really like it I wore it the other night I think it was like 32 degrees when we went to Walmart and I just wore the black one with like nothing underneath it and I just wore some jeans and some sh like general like sneakers and it was really warm my shoulders were a little cold but I think that's just me but yeah, it's hella warm. I like these cool, like, exposed seams. I think they're just kind of neat. It almost, I thought that it was inside out originally, but it actually does, it is not. But yeah, and then there's just like the slit on the side, on both sides, and it's kind of just this like light V. It's just really nice to wear something. I think with this one, I'd probably have to wear some type of tank top underneath because black you can kind of get away with just wearing like a black bra but this one since it is a green color and you can kind of see my face you kind of do have to a little bit wear something underneath it I mean you don't but I will but yeah I just I really like it and I just was like this sweater was a dollar I paid a dollar for this like oh my god what are the chances like finally some actually affordable plus size clothing but yeah no I'm really excited about this and like how what a lucky find yeah that's everything I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I apologize for my absence. I'm filming lots of stuff today. If all goes well, you will see a much of content in the future. I think I might post some recipe videos too. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below, comment, and subscribe. It'd be great to have you here. Again, my name's Renee. Thanks for watching. Bye.